Welcome to our Christians United for Israel family here in America and around the world. Today the topic is then and when. The text comes from John 20:20. 20, 20. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. When and then. When you see the Lord, then you will be glad. When you see him high and lifted up, then you will be glad. When disease attacks your body and you see him as the great physician, then you will be glad. When you're burdened beyond bearing and you see him as your burden bearer, then you will be glad. When you feel lonely and forsaken, as indeed you might feel that way right now, and you see him as the friend that sticketh closer than a brother, saying, Lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth, then you will be glad. When you are in a financial crisis and you see him as your source, as your Jehovah Jireh, as the Lord who provides, then you will be glad. When you see yourself as the tree planted by rivers of living water, whose leaf shall not wither because of God's blessings, you will be glad. It is far too easy for people to go about their daily lives and think that they're in control. When you consider that God is the creator of all things, and he knows the number of hairs in your head, and he knew you in your mother's womb before you took your first breath of air. It is impossible not to see him at work all around you. He is in the rising of the blazing sun, and he determines the exact time it will set. He is in the mundane and the miraculous. He is in the tree that withers and the one that bears fruit. He is in your prodigal child and the lost sheep of the world. He is with kings and queens. He is with beggars and paupers. When you see his hand in all the earth and, and consider the stars of the heavens sprinkled in space by the hand of Almighty God, then you will be glad. What do you see when you look at Jesus? Mary saw him as a baby in Bethlehem's manger. The disciples saw him as a great teacher. The Pharisees saw him as a demonized heretic. Rome saw him as an insurrectionist too dangerous to live. But when we see him as he is, as the bright in the morning star, as the fairest of 10,000, as king of kings and lord of lords, as the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, and the king of the universe that's going to rule the earth for a thousand years from the city of Jerusalem in an era of perfect peace, then you will be glad. When and then. That's God's word for today. I'll see you tomorrow.